It was an emotional day for a mother who has been fighting for both of her sons to be released from prison. The Hernandez brothers are finally free men today after a judge vacated their sentences earlier this week. WGN's Investigates Lourdes Duarte has been following their cases and has more on today's release. A lot of these cases go back to the 80s and 90s when former detective Reynaldo Guevara used to patrol the streets of Humboldt Park. Over the years, Guevara has been accused of manipulating witnesses and evidence, which led judges to vacate more than 20 convictions. The case of the Hernandez brothers is now the latest one. Despite the rain, pictures all around to capture the moment two brothers are set free. It feels great, man. It's surreal a little bit, uh, but exciting. We expected this day to come for a long time. Yeah. After 25 years behind bars, Juan and Rosendo Hernandez have been released from the Dixon Correctional Facility. On Thursday, a judge vacated their sentences after agreeing with their attorney's argument that the men were framed by former detective Reynaldo Guevara. The case goes back to 1997 when the brothers were convicted of murder in the shooting death of Jorge Gonzalez. When we turned ourselves into the police station, we had no idea what they wanted us for. So when I called the attorney, I told them we, we didn't do anything, so let's go to the police station. So that was our first claim of innocence. At the center of their case and so many others, former Detective Guevara, who patrolled the streets of Humble Park and was known for closing cases no one else could. I'm not, I'm not going to answer that. Why not? Because I don't wish to answer that. Time and time again, Guevara has pled the fifth, which shields him from testifying. WGN Investigates has been tracking the cases and the settlements that follow. In all, the city has paid more than $75 million to defend, investigate, and settle misconduct claims involving Guevara. That includes more than $53 million to the men whose convictions have been overturned and another $20 million to private attorneys. More settlements could follow as other convictions are overturned. University of Chicago law professor Craig Futterman thinks those dollars are just the beginning in the Guevara fallout. It could easily be 200, 300 or more million dollars before the day is done. In February, WGN investigates tracked down the former detective as we looked into the story of another man waiting for a review of his case. Mr. Guevara, I'd like to talk to you about what happened in Chicago. If you're wondering where he is today, Guevara is living in San Antonio. He's retired and collecting his city-funded pension, hundreds of miles from the men he once helped place behind bars. This is not over with Guevara. We just want justice. We just, it's plain and simple. We want justice for other men who haven't gotten justice yet. You know, and until that happens, we're not going to stop making noise. The Cook County State's attorney agreed not to retry the two men. That means they are cleared to go on about their lives. In the last week, the sentences of two other men were also vacated. In all, more than 50 people accused Guevara of framing them. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.